Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. We have 2 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4 divided by 1 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4. I've seen the, the bottom expression in in a book. I think it was there was a problem like rationalizing the denominator thing. But then I thought about I could turn this into a nicer um, problem. And this is what I did. So it's kind of maybe semi-homemade. Okay, a new expression. So I'll be presenting three methods, and I don't want to keep it too long, so let's get started. First method. For my first method, you know a lot of times I choose the most brute for C for my first method. No pain, no gain method, right? Okay. So, notice that the expression at the bottom kind of looks like, if I call this X, this looks like 1 plus x plus x squared, doesn't it? Because cube root of 4 is x squared. So this tells me, hey, x squared plus x plus 1, if you want to rationalize it, um, I can multiply it by its conjugate, which is x minus 1. And guess what? This is difference of two cubes. Yay. So if I multiply cube root of 4 plus cube root of 2 plus 1 by cube root of 2 minus 1, I get cube root of 2 cubed minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is 1. Yay, we got 1 by multiplication. Awesome. In other words, they are reciprocals, right? Cool, cool. Let's go ahead and do that. That's my first method. 2 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4. Hopefully you get the idea. 1 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4 multiplied by cube root of 2 minus 1 over cube root of 2 minus 1. This is going to make the difference of two cubes. The top is going to make something crazier. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do it here. Distribute, you just got to distribute this over that. 2 times cube root of 2 minus 2 plus cube root of 4 minus cube root of 2. Come on, you can do this too, not too hard. Cube root of 4 times cube root of 2 is going to be cube root of 8. And, you know, you can simplify it later. And this is cube root of 4 finally. Divided by 1. Remember we, when we multiply these two expressions, we got 1 from here. So no need to repeat it, right? Cool, cool. Now, cube root of 8 is cube root of 8 is 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0. Yay, they cancel out. Anything else? Cube root of 4 and cube root of 4. We end up with 2 apples minus 1 apple. That is an apple, which is cube root of 2. That's the answer. Are you serious? Yes, that is the answer. And this brings us to the end of the first method. Now we're going to do the second and then the third. And you're going to vote, right? I mean, at least you're going to let me know which method you like the best. And you almost always do, right? A lot of people do, and I really like that. I appreciate your comments and likes and subscriptions and all the support. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. 2 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4 divided by 1 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4. One of the things that I noticed after kind of coming up with this problem is that I noticed that the top is one more than the bottom. And you're like, duh, that is not obvious. Yes, it is, but maybe it's not always obvious. I don't know. But it's really nice. I can use this. The only difference is 1. So why not split it up into 1 plus? 1 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4 divided by 1 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4. Awesome. How does this help? Sl split up fractions. I think we've done this recently, right? If you have a fraction with the x thingy, remember? We can go ahead and split it up into the sum of two fractions. 1 over... The first one is going to be 1 over 1 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4. And I'm going to leave some space because I'm going to multiply by the conjugate. Plus, this is the same thing, right? So it's just 1. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and multiply by the conjugate. What is the conjugate? Remember, one more time. Cube root of 2 minus 1 over cube root of 2 minus 1. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at the first method, you'll realize. And this product, and remember... We've done that before, and that was equal to 1, right? Yay! So now let's go ahead and use it. This is 1. Really? Wow, that was great, right? 
And from here we get one times something, which is cube root of two minus one, divided by one is the same thing, plus one, negative one and positive one cancel out, and we end up with cube root of two as the final answer, which is pretty much the same thing, the same result with first method. So first method kind of use the idea of rationalize the denominator. I don't care if you split it up, don't do it, just rationalize because come on, rationalizing the denominator, even though it's brute forcey, it always works. Almost always, let's say it, right? Because if this expression is gonna simplify nicely like this, look at that, then the first method obviously should be working, right? So we verified with two methods that uh, we can get the same answer. Let's see what the third method offers us. And the third method is my favorite. Needless to say, right? If I'm presenting three methods, usually the last one is my favorite. Okay, save the best for last. So one thing to keep in mind here, and that came up with the first method, I think you noticed, right? Is that cube root of eight is and that's kind of obvious, but we don't always think about it, right? So here's what I can do. Since two is equivalent to cube root of eight, and I have cube roots all over the place, why not replace this two with cube root of eight? Well, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I don't know, I'm just gonna give it a try. First of all, uh, I did it with the other methods, and then I thought about, well, since this is a constant, uh, it should work and it does let me tell you if this ratio is a constant then the numerator must be a multiple of the denominator right so that's the whole idea here now after writing that as cube root of 8 should I write this as cube root of 1 uh, you can if you want but that's not necessary so now I can go ahead and factor the numerator because I have a common factor really what is that uh, well, cube root of 8 can be written as cube root of 2 times cube root of 4. So, cube root of 2 is a common factor. If you take out cube root of 2, this is going to give you cube root of 4. The second one is just going to give you 1 because it's the same thing, right? So, the question is, uh, what should I multiply this by to get that or that or that, right? That's how factoring is done. And what would you multiply cube root of 2 by? to get cube root of 4. Of course, you would multiply by itself because 2 times 2 equals 4. And that's something that we immediately learn, right? When we, even when we were very little. Anyways, so how does it simplify? What about multiples and stuff like that? Look at this. Cube root of 4 plus 1 plus cube root of 2, 1 plus cube root of 2 plus cube root of 4. They are the same thing, just written in a different order, right? So these two are equal, equivalent or equal, cross it out and you end up with cube root of two as the final answer. Or this simplifies as cube root of two. And if you distribute it, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.